good morning everybody, uh, Stevie here from uh, Never Too Late to uh, Travel. Very hot morning here in uh, Bangkok and uh, at the moment we're at the uh, Holy uh, Rosary Church which is a, a Catholic one and is just on the outskirts of uh, Talat Noi which is uh, one of the oldest areas here in Bangkok. So today's venture is to go from here at the church and go up to Talad Noi and uh, show you some of the interesting sights up there. It is a bit of a photographer's uh, paradise. Uh, you do see a lot of people with GoPros and cameras around the area. And uh, you'll also notice that the uh, soys are very, very uh, narrow. This morning, uh, particularly in this area, which is the back end of Chinatown, it's uh, Chinese New Year. So you're going to see a lot of people in uh, traditional uh, Chinese dress and uh, hopefully you'll see a few uh, fire crackers uh, going off. So we'll start the walk here at uh, the uh, Holy Rosary Church and then we'll uh, head up uh, towards uh, Talad Noi. I hope you do find it interesting uh, and uh, please don't forget to subscribe, make comments and uh, give likes uh, where you see fit. So here we have the uh, Holy uh, Rosary Church, which uh, was one of the uh, oldest uh, Catholic churches here in uh, Bangkok. I hope the sun's not affecting the camera too much, but uh, that's the view of the outside of it. Uh, I can show you a little bit of the inside, but I don't want to make this a temple or a, a church a video in particular. I'll just give you a, a quick look inside. Uh, quite a splendid decor. And a beautiful decorated ceiling. Not a particularly big church, but uh, interesting all the same. There's a the, uh, side view of the uh, church. It looks bigger on the outside than it does on the inside. So now we'll uh, head off towards uh, Talad Noi, which uh, translates into a uh, small market. It's a uh, culturally, uh, culturally uh, very uh, diverse area. At the uh, fall of the uh, Ayutthaya period in uh, 1767 I believe, uh, the Portuguese and Chinese uh, communities were given some land around this area, uh, which they named Kaladoi, and uh, it is still there to this day. On the left hand side here we have the uh, Siam Commercial Bank which is one of the oldest working banks here in Bangkok uh, over a hundred years old and uh, followed here by the main offices of the uh, Marine Department which uh, control all the uh, shipping and uh, vessels uh, throughout Thailand and also the arrival of uh, international uh, shipping. Very interesting little restaurant there. I'm sorry I can't translate it, but uh, I've seen this place get very, very busy. And I believe this place on the corner is called the uh, Blacksmith uh, Cafe. But, uh, they must, that may have changed in the, in the uh, last few years. 49 pictures here by uh, prominent uh, photographers here in Bangkok of uh, different scenes around the uh, city. 
and uh, different uh, photographs of uh, prominent people and uh, opposite uh, some uh, street art which is uh, absolutely fantastic very very colourful you get many people here during the day uh, taking photographs and uh, videos and uh, also uh, university students who have graduated uh, come up to take their uh, graduation pictures it's a very very well visited old part of Bangkok and uh, for me one of the more interesting places to visit in the city Some very very interesting photographs to uh, have a look at, it can take you uh, quite a bit of time to uh, look at everything here. Some very very uh, interesting uh, buildings here and this is a mural I believe of uh, Len's home I don't uh, actually know who Len was but uh, he's obviously put uh, a mural outside his place to let everybody know that uh, he lives here And this uh, building here on the right hand side with the uh, wall paintings is called uh, Mother Roaster which uh, has been turned uh, on the second floor into uh, a very uh, well known uh, coffee shop uh, that does uh, quite a, a decent trade but uh, when you actually go to the door to go inside it would appear that you're going into a scrapyard but uh, if you follow the lights uh, on the floor inside it will take you to the uh, second floor and uh, you'll find the, the coffee bar very very passionate about their brands of coffee and uh, a very uh, nice place to visit as you can see here as you go in through the doorway it looks uh, more like a scrapyard than the entrance to a, to a coffee bar and uh, on the floor they've uh, put some uh, strip lighting so you follow it to the stairs so that you uh, don't trip or fall over nice interior to the uh, coffee shop and uh, a few places that you can sit around inside and just chill out and uh, enjoy your coffee stay as long as you want as you can see from the video quite a, a few uh, uh, foreign uh, tourists uh, sitting around having drinks bit of information, if you visit Taladnoi on Monday, this uh, place will be uh, closed. Uh, take your time going back down the uh, steps here. Uh, no point in rushing and uh, tripping up and uh, having a fall. Cup and cup.
Thank you. Here you can uh, see the extent of uh, all the uh, car parks that are uh, stored below the uh, cafe. Uh, I don't know what they intend to do with them, if anything, in the future. But uh, it's an awful lot of uh, scrap metal there. So, let's head out into the uh, sunshine and uh, carry our walk around uh, Taladnoi. Here on the left we have the Hong Wan Kung Shrine. Uh, it's a small hacker style Chinese uh, shrine uh, located here by the river. Uh, quite uh, well visited by the local community. Uh, I'm not going to go in and uh, have a look but it, uh, it is quite an interesting place. And if we go straight down here, we come to the banks of the Kalpaya River. Um, beautiful views over the water. Some of the uh, more impressive uh, buildings in the city. Always a lot of uh, river traffic on the uh, river, tall, tall boats and uh, the like. And, uh, very very impressive view and a lovely day to actually see it that's a view of the uh, temple this whole Chinese hacker temple we've just passed and the building at the back of it is the uh, new marine uh, uh, department uh, offices This uh, wall uh, painting here is uh, just round the uh, corner from uh, Barn uh, Rin Nam, which uh, when open is a very very uh, popular uh, antique coffee style place here in Bangkok but uh, unfortunately uh, not open today. I believe it has been closed for a, a few weeks now. Just a quick peep through the gates there, uh, nothing uh, very much happening. And leading on here towards the uh, Soheng Tai Mansion, which is uh, one of the oldest uh, Chinese uh, family homes here in uh, Bangkok. Uh, a small courtyard uh, surrounded by uh, four houses on a second uh, level and uh, been in the same family for quite a number of years. Of course a little bit of uh, unhappiness in the local community when they uh, turned the courtyard into uh, a swimming pool to uh, train divers, uh, that didn't go down too well and uh, now the place is uh, uh, uses a, a coffee bar and uh, uh, a tourist attraction. Okay. 
somebody told me that the uh, place is used uh, to train uh, Navy uh, divers but uh, somehow I disbelieve that because the, uh, the pool is not deep enough to do any kind of uh, extensive uh, diving unless it's uh, on an introductory level. Stop here and get my uh, cappuccino. Thank you. Can I have a uh, cappuccino? Please? Yes, hot or ice? Hot, please. Would you like cash of uh, sugar? Please. No, no, no. Oh, sorry. Number 10, please. Uh, 95 baht. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You will be number 10. When thank I call the number, please pick up your drink here. Okay, thank you very much. When you go upstairs, please take off your shoes and the shoe rack. Okay, I'll please drink it here. Both ways thank you. So, very interesting uh, place to uh, visit and uh, as you can hear from the conversation there, the young lady speaks uh, quite good English and if you wish to go and take your coffee upstairs then you must uh, remove your shoes. I'm led to believe that uh, a very uh, financially secure Chinese businessman offered uh, the family uh, quite a, a large sum of money to purchase this uh, property but uh, as it's been in the family for many many years they uh, politely uh, declined the offer. Nevertheless nice place to visit on a tour of Talad Noi and I'm sure that if you visit here that uh, you won't be uh, disappointed. As you see, many people taking uh, photographs. Particularly today, uh, many of the ladies in uh, Chinese dresses because it is uh, Chinese New Year. Here, uh, coming up on the uh, right hand side is uh, what used to be an orange uh, Fiat 500 which uh, I'm told has been parked here for many many years uh, it's become a, an iconic uh, landmark in this area and uh, I don't know how many times this uh, little old rusty vehicle has appeared on Instagram but uh, I can assure you it's in the uh, many of hundreds it's unlikely uh, to be moved anytime soon. It's become such an iconic uh, memorial for uh, Talad Noi. And here as we uh, continue uh, our walk, uh, you'll find a very uh, interesting uh, map of uh, this uh, area and uh, somebody's kindly marked most of the uh, interesting sites for you to uh, have a look at.
local community uh, always uh, very welcoming in this area and uh, very very uh, well used to uh, visiting tourists Here we have the uh, Riverside Hotel here on the uh, right hand side which is uh, a very uh, popular venue uh, here in Bangkok has a, a nice bar on the uh, eighth floor and uh, you can sit and have a drink and uh, overlook the Kalpaya River and uh, the photo uh, hotel next door uh, quite a colourful and attractive place and this leads into the uh, Zhu Song uh, Gong Shrine which is again visited by a lot of the uh, Chinese community here in Taladnoi very interesting place to go and uh, have a look around but uh, as I informed you at the beginning of the video I don't want this to be uh, a temple or uh, a, a church tour On the uh, left here, uh, coming up is the uh, Hong Xiang Kong Contemporary Chinese uh, Style Cafe. Very, very popular with uh, locals and uh, tourists alike. And uh, very interesting interior. Give you a quick look inside as we pass. I believe originally bought uh, by the family that now own it so uh, with the uh, possibility of uh, turning it into a, a hotel but uh, I'm led to believe that the son of the family decided that uh, it would be better to turn the area into uh, a coffee bar and uh, place to store uh, antique stuff and uh, open it up as a tourist attraction which uh, apparently has uh, paid off quite well I love these beautiful old buildings the Thai traditional houses here, here in Bangkok I find them very fascinating and interesting and uh, obviously they've been up for quite a number of years another small shrine here on the right hand side uh, I don't intend uh, to visit uh, the interior but uh, I'll give you a, a quick look of uh, what's on offer should you be in the area and you decide that you want to take uh, a further look Very, very colourful places, Chinese temples, and always kept uh, 9 out of 10 in immaculate condition. quite easy to find your way around this area I doubt very much that you would get lost it's a kind of a, a one big loop and uh, as you can appreciate the uh, soys are very very small here uh, cars and motorbikes do go along here but I would advise you to be extremely careful uh, a lot of the motorbikes don't care about uh, pedestrians
So we're now coming up uh, sadly towards the end of our tour and uh, I'll show you these beautiful uh, wall art uh, decorations. Absolutely fabulous. So I hope you've enjoyed your walk around uh, Talad Noi. Uh, I see a lot of walking videos around Bangkok but uh, they pass some interesting places but no, nobody ever goes to the extent of actually telling you uh, the uh, history or uh, any interesting facts about them. I find it very, very disappointing. So, uh, thanks for joining me everybody, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, short uh, walk around uh, Talat Noi and uh, that concludes the uh, walk for this morning and uh, now we're going to head off to uh, Chinatown, uh, to the uh, Chinatown gate and uh, have a look at what's happening in Chinatown. Thanks very much for joining me, don't forget to subscribe and like and uh, make comments and I'll catch you on the next one.